Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel and today we are going to talk about Yes 5G's home broadband service. So yes, you guys requested for it when I did the U-Home 5G video. It was a great broadband service back then for 68 ringgit per month but there was just this fair usage policy of 1 terabyte a month which might actually annoy some especially if you do a lot of downloading at home and U-Mobile also kept P2P activities on your service. However, Yes 5G went on the further mount to offer an even cheaper 5G broadband service for just 58 ringgit a month and there's no fair usage policy on its service which is crazy and it is contract free as well which makes it probably the best value 5G broadband plan in Malaysia. So as you can see on these uh, screens right here we have already performed a speed test on our laptop, we are getting almost 262 megabits per second of download and 106 megabits per second of upload. And whereas on our iPad Air M1, we are faring even better results and that's probably due to a better wireless card right here. So you get 405 megabits of download and 70.1 megabit per second of upload which is really incredible space and it's something that makes you think why should you even go for a home fiber broadband at home since you can get a yes 5g broadband for just 58 ringgit a month so of course we also have two modems right here which is the zte mc8020 which we reviewed on the U home 5g broadband and a Yearcom 5G router. Now, I know most of you guys who have uh, research on 5G routers may know this brand very well because this is actually a modded 5G router. So you guys might also think that, can you actually go sign up for Yes FT 5G prepaid plan? Because that is essentially an unlimited prepaid 5G plan and you can insert it into this modem and it actually uh, acts as a phone for uh, surfing the internet and all that. Well. All of that will be revealed, whether it works well or not, in today's video, so watch on. So currently we have these two devices connected to the ZTE MC8020 5G router because that is where our Yes 5G home broadband sim is. So check it out here, ZTE MC8020 and over on the ASUS VivoBook here, it is also the ZTE MC8020. All right, to be fair and square, we are going to select the same server on speedtest.net. These are their native apps on Windows and iPad OS. And let's just make sure that they are on the same server because we are going to do a speed test. Uh, yes, 5G in PJ. And let's hit go at the same time. Three, two, one, go. All right. So the race begins. So this is not obviously not a very fair test because these two devices are obviously uh, fitted with different Wi-Fi cards here. Now you can see the iPad Air M1 obviously has taken off with a really impressive speed of 344 megabits per second of download and up to 80, 90 megabits per second of upload and with a pretty impressive ping of 20 milliseconds, which is probably more than enough for streaming and all. And on our ASUS VivoBook S15 OLED here, we are getting 30 milliseconds of ping and 88 megabits per second of download, whereas you get 55 megabits per second of upload. Um, of course, it's a big difference as compared to the iPad Air M1, like I said, due to different Wi-Fi cards. But nonetheless, this is already a very impressive speed. And for just 58 ringgit per month, you really can't complain at all. Now, if you want better Wi-Fi speeds on your laptop, of course, go get a better Wi-Fi card. Now, we are going to test out torrent downloads next because this is one thing that many broadbands, I would say almost all uh, wireless broadbands in Malaysia tend to limit when you use it for P2P activities. So obviously, we are now at Ubuntu's website. We are going to download uh, Ubuntu 23.04 uh, on BitTorrent instead of the direct server download. So let's just press on it to download the torrent. And here you go. We are just going to open it and it shows up. Let's just hit the download button right now. Now, as you can see, um, it has started off already. Now, previously on U Home 5G or even other broad wireless broadband plans, you will not be able to see this kind of progress here. As you can see, it's already downloading now at 1%. And we currently have a download speed of 11.4 megabytes per second. Right. So that is actually very impressive. It started off really fast already. So if you are doing torrenting for legal reasons on Yes 5G's network, you are okay to use torrents right here. Now, this is a really impressive speed that I'm seeing right here. 
Next, we're going to do a bulk download test on the ASUS VivoBook S15 OLED and the iPad Air M1. So we're just going to download a whole lot of things and find out whether we can still stream YouTube on our iPhone 15 Plus. Now, let's just try to install a couple of games on Steam here. Let's do Cyberpunk 2077. Of course, this laptop is not capable of playing it, but we're just going to download it anyway. And over here, we're just going to try to do a get on pretty much every game on Apple Arcade here. So uh, downloading is in progress here. And over at um, the ASUS VivoBook here, we're getting a 3741 megabit per second of download. And on our iPhone 15 Plus here, we are gonna try to stream a YouTube video right now, just to make sure that it is connected to the ZT MC8020. And let's head on over to YouTube. And we are just gonna try to stream a video from our channel, shall we? Still downloading, we are hitting 192, 200 megabits per second on the ASUS VivoBo. Whereas there's no progress, that's just a progress bar here. There's no speed info. We are going to play a video. Let's play this one. Look at it. It just took about a couple of seconds to load up this video. That is how usable it is when you have multiple devices at home downloading stuff at the same time. That is how impressive a 58 ringgit per month broadband plan is. So yes, if you're thinking of signing up for one, it's safe to do so. Now, obviously we're gonna do some gaming tests here. So we are now running League of Legends on our gaming laptop here. And of course, I'm not the gamer. Our videographer is the gamer there. And we're getting a ping response of 144.70. Wow, that's a really bad delay there. The ping response is actually pretty inconsistent there. So yeah, that is actually something to take note of. It does go down below 100 milliseconds at times here, but you can see how inconsistent it is if you want to use yes 5 gs broadband for gaming. As a comparison, this is what our time 500 megabit per second internet connection is delivering right now. So you can see how big of a difference it is as compared to yes 5G home broadband network that fluctuates well above 100 milliseconds, whereas this is just at 9 milliseconds, which is way more impressive. So obviously, the year's 5G broadband network isn't really made for gaming. Now, let's talk about modified 5G routers because this is a really interesting topic that I want to touch on in today's video. So whenever you go to a telco to sign up for a new mobile data plan or a broadband plan, there are some rules that the telco would have already set on, such as you can't use it on certain devices or you would have a limit on using some services. Now, in the case of Yes 5G, they do have a Yes FT 5G prepaid plan, which is essentially a really good prepaid plan that has unlimited calls, unlimited 5G, but it has a limit on hotspot quota. So if you want to share your internet connection from your smartphone to other devices, you only get up to 12 gigabytes of quota, which is actually really little. And what this modified router does is that it bypasses this hotspot quota and lets you use the unlimited data. And let me show you how it actually does it. So compared to the ZTE MC8020, which is kind of like an official product from ZTE, the Yeacom 5G router has a modified firmware, which is what you're seeing right here on the screen. This is how it looks like. And obviously by its name, it is already a modified interface here. And what it does here is that it actually emulates a smartphone's iMain number. Now, an iMain number, as you may know, is a unique serial number to identify the device. So whenever such kind of devices connects to the telco's network, you will need to identify yourself as a router or a smartphone. Now, let's just copy this IMA number and let's go to an IMA checker site to find out what this device is reporting us. And according to the IMA checker website here, the Yeacom 5G router is imposting as a Galaxy A53 5G, which is the reason why the Yes FT 5G SIM card in this 5G router is able to connect to 5G networks and do unlimited internet here. Now, I'm not sure if this is something that is legal, but I can tell by all means this is technically a really illegal thing because by all means, this is not a Galaxy A53 5G and it's trying to impose this one. So just in case, if 
any telco finds out that you are abusing their service by using this modded IMAIN number, they can by all means block this IMAIN number and not allow you to connect to any networks in the country. So there is in fact a risk by using this kind of routers. But of course, if you're thinking to save costs such as just subscribing to, yes, to the YES FT 5G plan for just 30 ringgit a month instead of paying for YES uh, home flexi broadband plan that costs 58 ringgit per month, you can technically use this kind of setup but i would really advise against using it because you never know when uh, yes 5g will actually change their service terms and all that and you know by all means it is actually an illegal device that you're using here but by all means i'm just buying this device uh, to just test out uh, whether it works or not and to be honest um, after using it for about a month um, i do find out that it has some uh, instabilities in terms of performance and all that because by all means this is not a, a good 5G router as compared to the ZTE MC8020 which is the flagship router from ZTE but nevertheless we are just going to run a speed test to show you guys how uh, the Yeacom 5G router performs so we are now on the ES 5G uh, server here and let's just hit on go and on our iPad Air M1 as well we're going to do the same thing so this is actually really impressive by what it can do here. So it's running at 30 milliseconds with, with about 200 and yeah, it's dropping. As you can see, performance really drops here. And on the iPad Air M1, we are detecting a really high ping of 39 milliseconds. This is where you can see that the Yeacom modem doesn't perform as well as the ZTE MC8020. But also there could be a reason that um, the Yes, FT 5G SIM is kind of limiting itself when it comes to its performance. Um, whichever it is, I don't recommend you doing it this way because uh, it does really affect the entire 5G experience. Now, of course, we can still go over to a torrent download here. Let's just try to download Ubuntu again. And we're just going to open the torrent and continue downloading and see whether it works. And yes, it still works. We have 29.8 kilobytes per second. Um, it's slowly going up, but obviously due to the limitations of, like I say, this router, or maybe the Yes, uh, or maybe Yes 5G is limiting P2P downloads on the Yes FT 5G service. It could be that reason, which is why we are not getting the full speed right here as compared to what we have seen on the ZT MC8020 just now. So that's all for my review and thoughts on the Yes 5G Home Flexi Broadband service. In my opinion, it is a really worthy subscription for just 58 ringgit per month and it allows you to do almost anything on the network including P2P downloads with uncapped speeds and uncapped quota. And that is really a dream come true that no one has ever thought of and yes, they finally did it. Now, of course, if you want to get a 5G broadband service, you really got to invest in a good 5G router like the ZTE MC8020. And like I mentioned earlier on, I do not recommend that you go for, yes, prepaid service that costs 30 ringgit a month and get a modded router because by all means, someday your modded router is just going to stop working because that IMA number could get blacklisted and you will waste your money on that. So yeah, that's all for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about Yes 5G broadband service in the comments down below. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.